Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'll be show how to make this animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first one, let's create solid for background layer. Right mouse, new and solid layer. Add name background. And we can change color here, but I will use fill effect. Let's select black, click OK, again click OK, and move to behind the web PNG layer. And go to FX Presets, search Effect Fill. And select Fill, let's use for background solid layer. And go to Color Cube, select white color. Click OK, and lock layer. Select web PNG layer, and click this icon for 3 layer. And right now we can change rotation like this. Let's create new camera tool, right mouse, new and camera. And don't change any settings, click OK. So select this camera one, right mouse, go to camera and create orbit node. And for move to anchor point center, hold control, double click, pan behind icon. Click session tool. And select this null, press R, we can change camera movements with null object. So first select this null, press P and move to back. Make new passing in keyframe and go to 3 second. Let's zoom to web page and go to back. Select this web image and press R, open rotation and make X, Y and Z keyframe and go to last keyframe. And chain rotation like this and a little bit X rotation and Z rotation. Let's see. Okay, and let's move right a little bit this camera movement. So in this time select this web layer. Let's go to first second and control D for duplicate. Let's zoom in here and go to mask tools select this rectangle and let's select this this part okay let's click pen tool and change mask like this okay so let's go to solo nice and right now let's close these settings and go to here in this time Select this web, let's select this post, change name post, and press U. Okay, in this time, let's press P, make new pass in keyframe, and go to here, and move to front. Let's move to up a little bit here, and move to right. Okay, let's see. Nice, select these two keyframes make easy and go to graph editor select this graph let's make graph like this for smooth animation okay back to two frames and select this camera layer let's select this two frame move to left and select this web layer press u and post layer press u select this last rotation two frames Move to the left for more fast animation. Okay, so select all two frames, make easy or click F9. And go to graph editor, select these last two frames, move to the left for smooth animation. Okay, back to two frames and select these two passing two frames for post layer, move to the left. Okay, so in this time, select this post layer, let's link to web layer. And go to here, go to 5 seconds, change web rotation. Like this, and Z rotation, and X rotation. Okay, select this rotation Q frame, smooth right, for more slow animation. And let's see. Okay, not bad. 
So in this time, go to here and select the new object. Let's zoom to post layer and move to right. Okay, that's good. So in this time, go to FS Presets, search Effect Gaussian Blur. Select this Gaussian Blur, let's use for web layer. And right now, make blurness keyframe and go to here, change blurness 25. Okay, not bad. And right now, make new position keyframe and go to some keyframes. Select first position keyframe, Ctrl C, Ctrl V for past keyframes. And right now, select this web layer and press U for see all keyframes. Make blueness keyframe, go to last keyframe, change zero. And let's move right like this. Okay, not bad. So in this time, let's close this all keyframe settings. And let's zoom in here. Let's right mouse, new and solid layer. Go to eyedropper color. Let's select this background color. Add name, web, color. Click OK. And change scale. Okay, so select this web layer, move to behind, post layer, and click 3D icon. And let's change scale more. Okay, so select this web color, let's press P, change this position 1. And select this web color, let's link to web PNG. So let's see. Okay, I want to remove this background post area. So, select web color and in this time, let's press P and change this minus one. And let's move to right this layer. Let's see. Let's move to left. Okay, that's good. Let's do full animation. Okay, so select this post layer, press U, and let's see. And select this first position keyframe, move to left. Okay, select first position and move to back. Okay, that's good. So select this last position keyframe and go to graph editor. Let's make graph like this. And back to keyframes. Let's go to here, select this camera and press P. And go to some keyframes, select first keyframe, copy pass. Let's move to back here like this and go to here, select this VPNG, press U and select rotation keyframes, move to the left and go to next keyframe, select first keyframes, copy pass. Okay, nice. Let's change rotation a little bit like this. So let's see again full animation. Okay, so we have problem with some keyframes. Let's select these all position keyframes for post layer. And right mouse, go to keyframe interpolation, change auto bezier to linear, click OK. And let's say again. Okay, select these again camera keyframes. Right mouse, interpolation, 
and change auto browser to linear click ok okay that's good okay so finally let's go to fx preset and search fx drop shadow select drop shadow let's use for web png and we can see our shadow line and let's change distance and softness let's see okay and let's use drop shadow for this post layer and change distance like this and softness here okay i like it in this time let's go to here let's go to opacity make opacity keyframe and press u for c keyframes go to next keyframe change opacity zero okay and go to back and let's go to here make opacity keyframe here and go to first second change zero say keyframes move to right okay very nice so guys thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel like video and please follow me on instagram good luck